How did you get started in China? Oh, so I, I really didn't take note of how fast people read or stuff like that. It wasn't even, I guess being that, being a youngster, you don't really sometimes focus mm-hmm. on some things. But for me, because I was like 119 pounds, and I thought this lady that looked like she had some power. I thought, yeah, I wanted to, I wanted to be like her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What would you like to be remembered for? You mean as a, as a track and field athlete? I, I, mm-hmm. I guess um, hard work, hard work because I, I realized that uh, the accomplishments that I, I, what I, what I had accomplished in track and field was purely by hard work and, um, positive a positive outlook mm-hmm. and um just my focus because uh, you know when i ran track and field i didn't go out to parties i didn't go i was just it was just track and field yeah. and the people that i had as my friends were also track athletes mm-hmm. so my focus was on track and field and i and i was around people who had the same um focus that I had, who had the same goals that I had, and um, so I, I just went. I was on that one track. It was education, and it was well, from the education it was um, track and field, and that was it. And that was for many, 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 many years. So since I was like 13 years old, I was running track and field until I was 28. So from those many years, everything was education and track and field. Mm-hmm. And that was it. Yeah. What is your? And all my friends were all my friends were involved in track and field. Yeah. What is your pre-competition ritual, if you have one? Never really had one. All I knew was that I was going to be in bed early and uh, make sure that every body part was working properly, like it didn't have any tightness, any soreness. But my, it was, it was just to be in bed early and to be ready, right. to be ready to be focused. What type of medals have you won? Um, I've won uh, many medals. Um, ooh, I can send you a list of some <laughs> of the stuff that I have. I'll send you a list of what I have. Okay. Um, yeah, that would be much easier that way. Like the accomplishments of my accomplishments and track and field would be easier. So I have it written out someplace. I can send that to you. Okay. Mm-hmm. Name one of one of the things most people would surprise to know about you. Um, I mean, it would be my bad. <laughs> yeah. Um, now or before <laughs> when uh, I met track and field? Just both. Just like in general. In general? Yeah. Not much. I mean, then you... I'm, I'm, I'm like... Um, what you see is what you get. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Um, there, there's no pretense. I'm mm-hmm. just me. Yeah. Yeah. What's the best... Uh, the best part about being an athlete? I think... The best part of being, of being an athlete was the um, was um, I think was was traveling, meeting friends, um, the accomplishments after the, the payoff after training so hard and seeing that wow you you've really accomplished a lot. Um, because of your hard work. And I, and I guess also the discipline that comes with participating in, in a sport. Mm-hmm. Um, you, you get very disciplined. There's, there's, you, you, can't, you can't be loose. You can't be doing everything that everybody else does. You, you have to focus. You have to be disciplined. You have to, there's times for training and there's times for resting and there's times for maybe, um, Maybe go to the mall if that's the case, but it, it's very disciplined, and you have to you have to love it. You have to love 
have to have a desire to um, be able to handle all of that pain. <laughs> <laughs> Children and youth, and um, and because I 
I was a youth leader for five years at my church in Canada. I I I, I, I have such love for for young people and uh, but to see them grow in Christ. Yeah. If you could, I went off and went, went off the track, but yeah. <laughs> If you can go back 20 years, I mean 25 or 30 years to do any event in track, which one would it be and why? Just period, just like in general. Uh-huh. I would say, ha, and that's and that's very easy for me to say. I would I would, I would say that um, when I say the Holy Spirit, I I, I would have I'm including the Triune God. Mm-hmm. But people don't like this. And people say God, they think of all the other things. But I'm, I'm speaking of, of God who is, who is the Father of Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Who, 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 who's Holy Spirit who lives within us as we are his children. So that, that, that's it. That's, that's the most, that's the impact there. I have no hero, but my hero is, is Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> that's, that's, that's it. <laughs> what was your goal when you were in high school? In high school, uh, in athletic goal or just goal in general? In general. Uh, my goal was just to be a, a physiotherapist. And, um, yeah, like I said, I didn't really start running really track and field. Focusing on track and field and having a coach in track and field. So I was in grade, um, I think it was grade 11 or 12. How would you... Between grade 11 and 12, between all my elementary years in school and to grade, the grade, until grade 11, I participated in like five different sports throughout the whole, all those years, so then I chose that one sport, track and field, but before that, my goal, my focus was on track and field. How would your... Uh, mm-hmm. uh, let, me, let me say one thing, for anybody that that wants to participate, participate in track and field, the best thing for them to do is to be involved in many other sports because a track athlete trains, like, when a track athlete trains, that's how a tennis player trains, that's how a basketball player trains, that we, we train the way that all the other athletes train because we are, because the runner has to know how to run, how to jump, how to move. The training, the training for a runner is, is so um, it's, a, it's, it's a big scope. It's, it's not just running. You, you have to lift weights. You have to do jumping. You have to do all, throw a medicine ball, do the speed ball, run a ladder. We just so many. Our, 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 our training for a runner is, is, is very, has many different um, areas. But go ahead, sorry. Just go ahead, tell me. Ask me a question. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> How would your teammates? <coughs> how would your teammates at the at that time describe you? Um, like I said, they would say hard work, hard work, because some of them were upset with me most of the time when I trained because <laughs> I would push it because I, I knew that I, I wanted to be better than I wanted to be better than I could ever be. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted I wanted to excel, so I know a lot of my teammates were. They have to be trained or upset with me because they ask me, why did I go so fast? But, you know, sometimes you have to go more than 100% because I wanted results. 
What is your favorite movie of all time and why? country did you uh, like the most when you were coming completely? I mean competing. I'm bad. <laughs> when I was competing, what country I liked the most? Yeah. Um, uh, let's see here. I, I guess I, I just liked traveling over to Europe because it, it was different. And, um, mm -hmm. And I think maybe Italy because of the food. <laughs> it, wasn't, it, wasn't, it wasn't about the competition. It was just different types of cuisines and stuff like that. I suppose. And, and shopping. I mean, uh, you know, when we go over to, when we go over to Europe to, 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 to compete, we, we always have, you know, particular terms when we would go and do um, shopping and stuff. So, yeah, I think uh, uh, Italy was the place because I like to, I like to shop. What are your hobbies since you last competed in the Olympics? Well, um, my main focus right now and for the past number of years, uh, okay, hobbies. It, it, to me, I had had six children, so didn't really have any hobbies. <laughs> my hobbies was, you know, running after them, mm -hmm. but. Um, I, I think after um, all of the Andrew being in basketball and my, all the other boys being in basketball and girls being in basketball and doing this and doing that, I, I decided to, I, I was focusing on, or I started doing making jewelry. But I, I guess my main focus is to, pick up, is to pick up the Bible and, and learn more about being a hero and having a park named in your honor? Um, I don't consider myself a hero. Um, and, you know, I've, all of that is, to me is all in, in my past and I don't even really think too much about that. <laughs> really, um, I, I don't. Um, I, I, I just think about what God was having me do for him. I'm sorry to be so boring, I think, maybe, but, <laughs> but that, 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 that is me. That, uh, that is me. I, 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 those things are, it's like, you know, when you have children and they say, oh, that's my mom, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Even though I've done all these things, my kids will say, oh, that's my mom. And so that, and, and that's the way I take it. I, I, I take it as something that I did in the past and, you know, I felt, and it's, it's also, I think, I think it's, um, for my children, it's, um, an example, I, I think I more live, I see it more as an example for people to know that they can start something and complete it with excellence as they put hard work into it. And I think that's the most important thing. So don't look at what I, I've done, but look at how I got there. Um, and um, it was just hard work. <laughs> you know, nothing will come easy. You have to put the work in to get proper results to get the results that you want. So the harder you work, the better the results you'll get. And I, and I think that's, that's the most important thing. Um, I'm a ninth grader, and I'm looking forward to running track for the first time. So what advice uh -huh. would you give me? I mean, like, can you give me? Um, I would say, um, huh. 
I would say just make sure that when you when you have your friends, because friends dictate a lot mm-hmm. when you're young. Surround yourself with other students or friends that have the same goal that you have. Mm-hmm. That that you want to do exceedingly well. And knowing that you have to stop, it's a sacrifice. <laughs> even, in, even if you're, even in education, it's a sacrifice because you have to, you have to have, spend time in something that you want to exceed at. And you have to be able to know that uh, it's hard work, <clears throat> physically hard work, mentally hard work, hard work. Spiritually, it's hard work. And um, you have to be able to uh, take some negative mm-hmm. and turn it into positive. Don't get down on yourself if you don't make a certain time. You learn from all the, the, the mistakes. Like, you know, like you go to a chat meeting, you have a bad time, learn from that. Learn what you did wrong there to make it better the next time. And I, I think it's respect yourself, respect your body, respect your teammate, and have goals, short, long-term goals. Don't expect to be a champion right away. It takes time. To, from it, it takes time. Mm-hmm. Done in the rough. It takes time. It would have goals and and focus. Make sure that when you train, that you focus a lot on your on the basic training. Where you know you the off-season training. Mm-hmm. The training where you're just going to be lifting weights and doing cross country, which you know a lot of sprinters hate, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, but a lot, a lot of things like that, you have to work hard at it, and and oh. then you know, plot. Don't plot from month to month, but plot from year to year. So long term goals are the most important ones, and um, because it, 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 it tells you where you where you're going to be in the end. So have have big dreams and and work hard, and um, of course um, make sure that your, your education part is there because in order to get a scholarship, you have to have good grades. Alright. Yeah. But thank you for your time. You're welcome. So when are you gonna do all of this? Uh, tomorrow. I gotta, we do our pres- yeah. like we do our presentation on Friday. Thank you. Okay, take care. Bye-bye. Bye. You too. Bye-bye. Bye.